Club. I'm so sad that you guys couldn't see that intro because it was really good. <laughs> you could only hear it, how good it was. Let me, well, let me switch over. Oh no, everything that's happening is so cute and won't let me switch over. not recognizing that there's a, a new so let's put this windowed and maybe that'll help I mean already the music is really slapping people what's happening on my screen game oh here we go here we go maybe there we go yes oh all right i mean what a cute option screen also uh voice volume I don't see any subtitle options Let's just hop into it. Already, I'm just like so in love with the visuals and audios of all of this. Is the alligator sad? Am I supposed to be doing something? No company, please. Thank you. Well, I can't interact with anything, so fortunately. Uh, um, no hablo ingles. No hablo espanol. No hablos at all. Not even one hablo. Hey, hey I'm trying to lay low here, so maybe you can move on, please? Okay, okay, you got me. I'll come clean. I'm sorry for being so rude before. It's just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes. I can totally see the entirety of... So I feel safe with you, stranger. You see, usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool. Eating two bagels at the continental breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. But this year, I've got a problem. A real big problem. Look at this cutie. A real, real big, uh-oh, problem. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family's trying to rub me out for squealing. <laughs> I don't mean to squeal honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and secrets just start flowing out my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, cheese and crackers. What am I gonna do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two-ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 Sharp for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mom on the phone. The whole family is gonna come to really show me how it's done. What, what are the odds that this is just a surprise party for this cute, cute little gator? What am I gonna do? I don't wanna sleep with the fishes. I have a sea shellfish allergy and my asthma hacks up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a second. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you want, do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York. <laughs> and find out information about the event and report back to me. Yes, this is a great idea. Together, maybe we can collect enough info to s save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Great. I'll text you if I need any help. H how about you go out there and start? Do you have a watch? <laughs> Good. Ah, you do. Great. I'll text you a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. So make sure you check your watch a bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating, it could take time. 
time I don't have because I'm gonna have a murder done on me. <laughs> I'm okay. Think of the beach pad. Think of Dr. Doopelsnoot told you. A anyways, thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your super kind, invisible face. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishies. We need to get a double bed. In this economy? Oof. See you later, friend. Stay safe. Ah. Okay, what about, uh... Wait, let's, let's look at the time. Alright, it's 8 o'clock. According to my chrono dial. <laughs> okay. And I have to be here by... Back by 10 a.m. So that's two hours. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up in the corner of the screen. We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and compl complimentary pillow mints. Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up, since that arrow is vintage and known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poison and cilantro. Please feel free to visit us again here at John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. <laughs> You're very suspicious. Okay, no, that's fine. Whew. Later, alligator. Title drop. This week, click and drag up and down. <laughs> I love Brodega. All right, here's John Johnny's. I can't interact with much except for this seedy looking card shark. Card gator, forgive me. Uh, hey bub, you got a minute or perhaps three minutes? I ain't asking for five. I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walk out of John Johnny's over there, and I say to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. A vision in pinstripes, they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste, as well as one who might like to dabble in a high-stakes game of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, don't actually feel me. I've got a skin condition. They call me slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that tropical cream at night. Topical cream at night. But I ain't gonna listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my smarts come from the streets, which is where I got the skin condition. <laughs> my impolite lower back tattoo. Whom? The name's Mickey, but everyone calls me the old king of cards. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email passwords. This! Then his pants fell down. Then he fell down <laughs> into an open manhole. But I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five people, uh, called three or five other people that. So bada bing, the old card king at your service. Oh, you know Pat? Are you talking about Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. One time when we was kids, you guys got a locked out. Us guys got locked out of CCD after recess and missed juice and cookie time. We only had one cock granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. I'll always, I'll always remember that. No, I ain't crying. I just spit in my own eye as a display of my street toughness. Pachoo, pachoo. What about the event? Oh, oh, whoa, you know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub, it's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. Maybe, though, just maybe, if you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. You think you could keep an eye out for this flurry of fingies and find the queen? Time for some gaming. Stay on the card and keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey. I'll play. Mickey's running a street scam. <laughs> keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. I hope this game is just mini games. All right, keep your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? <laughs> Look at this little 
<laughs> animation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we'll never know who won. Who knows which way the wind blows or some junk. Urk. I won! I got a family member badge. Ah, jeez. Anyways, about the event. Well, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out there, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. These, those dermatology co-plays are a real <laughs> kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh, uh... Um, this is a fun game, and I'm enjoying it so far. The trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. But that ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! Oh, hey! To Adelaide's Arcade! Unknown? Um, hello? Is this by chance your first time in Alligator, New York City? I mean, in the city city. Not, um, Alligator, Long Island or something. It is? Who is this? I thought so. Oh, uh, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird. I just thought if you'd like, I could send you some tips. The city's real big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss out on your first visit. Is it okay if I help you from time to time? Sure. Ah, great. I'll be sure to text you again soon. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. All right. We got Street Kiter 2, uh, Vampire Punter D. Got some cool figures. Claw School. Let's talk to this guy. Joni. Hey there, you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know. Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you. I'd remember such a visible face like yours. Ah, look at me being a real jerk. I didn't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky-fingered kid kept throwing me into the ten-point hole. Go for the 50 dingus, I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding-dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. Vitamin C would have helped me shake it off. But all I had was for breakfast was black coffee and half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. Y'all uh, ever used to have candy cigarettes? I... I ate a lot of candy cigarettes as a kid. Regrettable. I hope they don't sell them anymore, because they really shouldn't. That's pretty fucked up. The name's Joni, or Bologna, if you have my fourth grade bully come back to fight me. <laughs> I love Joni. You're not, right? Sam? Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby's bone me behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I love to be closer to my gaming hobby. Very relatable. They let me keep the leather jacket, though. And the company hairstyle? What about Pet? Pet's my cousin, and also the most genuine doof I know. So you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook. Ah, she's a southpaw. And a moderately insulting right hook. <laughs> and a kick that could benefit from some manga management courses. I tried to sign it up for some calming hot yoga at the Haka. But it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. Ooh, it ain't great. <laughs> Look, I know you're, s you're spying for Pat for whatever reason, and that's fine, but I can't tell you my family secrets, you feel me? To give up that info, that hot, you'd have to really impress me. Maybe with some gaming? So what do you think? Can you roll the ball, old timer? I'm talking pinball. The old 
Penny B, as I like to call it, against the advice of my friend's family and the support of therapists I seek on Thursdays, I got the highest score on Lizards Wizards here, eight month running. But I'm always looking for a real pinhead to pin my skills against. So what do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? Okay, game. I don't mean to make a joke, I take this very seriously. I also did. I also added an OK game counter, which I just remembered because I OK this game. I think it's exclamation point OK. Uh, it should function, but if you try it out, let me know. And if it doesn't, I'll, I'll peep to see if there's an error. Yeah, there we go. It works. OK, cool. Beat their score or go for more. I'll play. Click the plunger to launch the pinball. When the ball is in play, control the flippers by clicking R and L or use left and right on your keyboard. Beat 5,000 points to earn Joni's respect. <laughs> All right. C -c 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 Cobra C -c -c Abra. Oh, okay, see, it's wizard theme. Darkness will prevail. Ah, where's my other catchphrase? <laughs> oh, here it is. The alligators aren't lizards. Technically. I'm glad they included that. Oh, hey. Oh, I panicked. I hit the wrong one. Oh, but look at, wow, her high score is 5,000 and I've already got 3,000. Joni, Joni. Starting to think these alligators are all terrible at the things that they love. Which is relatable. I'm also terrible, actually. Are they just gonna give me infinite balls? <laughs> While I continue to do a terrible job at alligator pinball? Oh no! <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, so when I fail, I lose time. And time is important because I have to be back by at 10. Okay. I better understand the game and the mechanics. Thus justifying my terrible score. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes! Okay, I did it. I was nervous I was gonna have to do this again. Ah. Uh, I wonder if there's is there a way to bump the table. No, that's fine. I did it. Okay. Phew. Ah, jeez. Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen moves like that in front of the lizard wizards here. You had that ball hidden all the do what's and who's it so fast I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. Oh, I found a puzzle piece. About the event. Now this might just be a rumor, but word on the streets, there's gonna be some sick game there. Not pinball per se, but you know, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's all I can really say. I'd better get back to the grind trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist, Pinhead. Catch you later. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I can talk to these two. I also see somebody hiding back here. Let's check the time. Oh, it's already 9.30. Sweet Geraldine. Hey up there, long arms, you got a sec? Nice suit, what's a fancy reptile like you doing in the back of the arcade? I know what you're after, that's right, I've got your peg just by looking at you. You want cold, hard, plush. Well, you found the right alligator. And I got a job that'll pay for both of our retirements in poorly made stuffies. 
You, see, you might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault and you're gonna break in. But we can't just walk in. No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes Norma, the security guard, comes by and says, I'm not allowed to put my claw and chair into the aisle. No, without the boost, I'm not tall enough to work the claw. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. You see behind here? There's, that's one ailing power juice, power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One wrong move in pinball and boom. The place lights up like my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen, Bunsen burner too high. Look at her little strawberry bag. And her shirt that just says anime. <laughs> me, I'm Nona and these parts of Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints. And Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to the string fling. Oh no, she's so cute. That is a Patsy. Not my Patsy, but that's for sure. But he's related to some of my dad's friends. One time at dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. It turns out he just had a warm pizza pizza in his pocket. No one could find him for almost an hour until the fire fire pulled him out of the concertized crawl space. He was covered in spires and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed, physically anyway. That guy's pretty weird. I'd love to tell you about the event, I really would, but this is our first time on the job together, Mac. Hey, you haven't earned my unbridled trust. Can I tag you on Twitter for a clip of some cool VAs playing? Yes, later alligator and voice in that dialogue. Please do, Copper Sands. Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. The call machine, it's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not going to rat me out for the additional prizes when plush comes to shove. You feel me? What do you say, old timer? One last call machine score. The big one. All right. Flu, 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 flurgle, hinge. Thank you for continuing the gift sub. All right, I love this. I hope we get a piece of a, a bread plush. Grab the prizes as she advises. Claw school. Follow Sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane. When you're ready to grab, click the center button. Okay, we got this. Yes, she is the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of good choices, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. Yeah. First, you should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer. Show me what you got. Round one. Oh, have a good time. Be my badger. Uh, God. Okay. I see some sort of big ED bar. I like the looks of these keys, but I don't know if I'd be able to get one. Do any of these look like they would um, help me solve a mystery? Uh, Flurgle Hinge, thank you also for the gift sub. Uh, I think I'm gonna go, this candy looks so visible. Like it's more prominently, like some of these look more prominently visible, but I can't tell if that's just a coding thing. I think I'm gonna go for the candy, it looks so obvious. Oh, is this my lives? Okay. Oh, God, that's got a lot of swing. Hmm. That is just Doraemon. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay. Hey, I heard a prize. Let's check the slot. My dad says I'm not supposed to have too much candy because I get hyperactive and prone to fits of father pinching. But I think he just likes keeping it all for himself. You've got some chops, I respect that. But now the real job begins. How will you react when the pressure's on? This time, you follow my lead. Eight guys, <laughs> give me that boy band CD or I'm gonna explode. Oh god, this one? But it looks like there are notes. Look, a little strawberry purse. I want a little strawberry purse. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get that CD. I guess maybe I can get the stuff that's on top of it. Also, look at these cute little alligator plushes. Hmm. 
This isn't gonna get the CD. You gotta, you gotta know how to play this game, sweet Geraldine. Oh, you got one. What is it? That's not what I asked for, but a girl needs a backup in case her father mistakes accessories for snacks again. Those ladies at Urgent Care were so nice. All right. Yes. All right. Boy band. All right. We're going to get that note. I'm hoping the note will have... Guys, there's so many good stuff that I would actually like, like to own in this fake video game prize machine. Okay, okay. Oh no, things are just gonna keep piling up. My dearest Fifth William, I cannot help my mind wandering to the softness of your scales or the sharpness of, ugh, gross. This is actually too PG for a PGA jet gator like me. All right, all right, all right. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it this time. Well, probably we're gonna get this weird duck first. This feels like it's taking a lot of in-game. <laughs> Time. <laughs> oh, okay, but we got a clear shot. No, Gator, no! Uh-oh. This is so uncute. I think I just lost a piece of my childhood wonder. I may never experience true unfettered joy again. Okay, I got two tries left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for the CD this time. I think I'm gonna end I'm gonna end up getting I'm gonna end up getting the fucking gator. Okay, don't don't fall on top of it. God damn it. Okay. You know, it's not what I asked for, but a, a gator sheen! It's a poo sheen! My poo sheen isn't nearby. It's a little poo sheen! She's just so cute and shiny, my eyes. <laughs> I can still see the prize I want. Okay, all right. I guess we're just gonna have to... <laughs> all right, this is as far to the side as it can go. But maybe if I... Maybe if I press the button while it's swinging... Yes! Holy shit, did you see that? Oh, fucking skills. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite K-pop group. With an, and it's a limited edition, packed with the sweat of two of the eight band members. I don't even mind that Joshua Ransom got arrested for indecent snow tubing. I still love him. And hopefully the frostbite is on the men, just like the fans' hearts. Bam. Bam. You're really good at this. But it's finally time for the big score. I can see it in your eyes. Uh-oh. You ready to get the ultimate prize? Give me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time. Final Friend City. He's the dreamy one with the spiked hair. That's it. The big cute one. Oh, okay. This one just right up in front. Okay. Thank God. Phew. All right. Gonna let it slow down. Oh god, oh god, oh no, god damn it! Oh, she's gonna be furious. Of all three shapes I know, you had to get me the worst one. Oh, bad news, old timer. That was my last quarter. God damn it. Uh, and I don't get to retry. Oh no! I guess now I'll have to explore the library or take part in municipal teen sports to pass my time. Oh. Uh, Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, he gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could mean anything! One free tomato soup. Here's the coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. So sad. After my victorious gaming moment. Failed in the clutch. Ugh. Oh, I had glasses and I took the glasses off. Those are my gaming glasses. Hold <laughs> well, on, I have to put on my interrogation glasses. 
Ah, don't bop me. Oh, 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 it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. And don't you dare. Don't, didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare. Dude, assassins really exist. At least, I think that's what the acronym was. <laughs> it was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Anyway, do you find out anything from the family? Well, well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls while, uh, the whole time you were gone. For two hours, my dude. M -m -m maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel safer there and less lodgy with bread. Let's go. Okay, look at this little waddle. My safe place. Find the code at to Pat's abode. Oh good, it's another mini game. Uh, help Pat with his hotel room. Help Pat with his outdated website. Oh, help Pat remember his co room code. I guess those are things that I failed to do because I didn't get back soon enough, maybe? Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have somebody walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. It kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Like that? Like that little gator that's in there staring at you? What am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. <laughs> Pat, which of these rooms is yours? Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website at www.delegator.fun. I even made a button. You can click for it. Gee, I'm really glad now I took those oddly specific button making classes at my local community center. Let me just open up a web browser. www. Alligator.fun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Hachimachi. Millennial Falcon, thank you for re-upping <laughs> your subscription. Oh boy. Okay. ARG hype, yes. Oof, here we are. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? That's www.delegator.fun. I really want to go inside and see if there are more of these mints left. Okay, let me just... I'm going to put uh, get this on screen. Let's do window capture. I love this weird music. All right, let me figure out which of these is the right screen. Okay. Okay, all right. A uh, lot of broken links generated by Geoscalies. Great. <laughs> this is Pat's homepage. Um, God, look at this fucking dancey baby with the alligator tail and nose kind of <laughs> slapped on. Life is a beach blingy. Oh no, this is so good. Don't click pad only. Okay, we'll get there. I want to look at the about me first. About me. I'm Pat. <laughs> Under construction. Oh no, this is so good. I miss web rings. I miss web rings so bad. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. Hold on, let me. There we go. All right, let's try it. I can't believe what's happening. This is so good. <laughs> Uh, board librarian, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> uh, I'm also so delighted. I heard such good things about this game. Uh, and I've been meaning to play it forever. And so I'm so happy that I'm here doing it. Whew. 
<laughs> bye that's a great browser skin jenna thank you <laughs> you did it thank you so much let's go ahead and close that uh-oh it automatically went to my other firefox window which seems like a bad safety feature oh i can't i can't close it what's going on help you gotta help me i don't even like pink uh-oh Oh, should I have not have closed that window? Uh-oh, I, it's getting on my feet, just enter entering. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> PSAS word dot e text, yes. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello? My word, this is quite the mess. Who are you two? Why have you opened my door? <laughs> Who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. Uh, but this is my door, where I haven't installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But if that's true and my password still worked, is your lock code 91619? Is, is your lock code 91619? We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us. <laughs> this is so much. So long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we could have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here or I'll come for you endlessly. <laughs> That sure was a string of unlikely consequences, coincidences, wasn't it? How did he know our name? That's a great point. A flaming green vial. It's a real question. Oh, I missed what he said. <laughs> what is this button? Oh, I didn't need to do any of the stuff I did. Okay. How did you mistake that room for this room, Pat? Pat, I love you, but oh my god. They're so similar, no wonder I mixed them up. Thanks. I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. Oh my god. Okay, incredible. Oof, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll tell you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m., so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks for me in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Oh, jeez. Bye for now. Alright, I'm just supposed to... Okay. Pink sauce, oh god. <laughs> oh, look, it's Bob again. Hey, wait. Hey, you. Hey, oh. My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous, bub? She's just so cool and strong. I mean it. She's literally coming to pick me up after work. Where she'll put me, nobody knows. Okay, good talk. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. That's so true, Charlene. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene, sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that comes from not having to hear anyone else. You're not really taking the hint, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. It's 10.30. In game. Wait, come back here. Okay. It looks like I can go into the kitchen. Or I can go, I can get some coffee. Good. <gasps> I found a puzzle piece. Oh no. Oh no. We're Professor Lightning. Ah, shit. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna misclick so many times. Four puzzle pieces, three family badges. Okay. Let's go to the kitchen. Ah! <gasps> Let's not go to the kitchen. It's also 10.30 IRL in the Pacific time zone. <laughs> it's eerie, actually. Um, you guys are right, though. It's your time zone. 
Okay. Are you lost, miss? All right. Uh, but it seems like it's opened up new clickable options for me, which is very exciting. Hey, Bubba! Just here. Uh, you're just in time. The trolley got here a minute ago. Well, it sounds like I missed the trolley. Should I take the trolley? Why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or some protective handwear. I'm gross, so. <laughs> okay, but I wanna. Let me just find a couple. No collectible is arbitrary. I need them all. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's Fifth William. We got his weird letter. So, like, don't stress too hard. Okay, Flyblehead, that is fair. Uh, oh, boy, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her, but I usually leave when somebody calls the alligator police, so I slip and I fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. It's too hard to get all the way back up here if you fall. No elevator, you know. You have to use elbow grease, which I had yet to speak to my doctor about. It's a full-time job to want to eat this flower, but I will do it as my father and his father did before me. Where are they now? Well, they both retired to stare at flowers in the comfort of their own homes, of course, but not me. I'm out here on the daily. Flower. Look at all these caricatures. Lovely Maria. Oh dear, I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors. It must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. <laughs> I've been trying to get outside the home more since I had the new baby. Nana is watching her today, and so here I am, out in the world. It's a little nerve-wracking to be away from the nursery after these those months, to be honest. <laughs> I already miss the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. We all know more things come out of baby than just the sweet fragrance of their cute little heads. Well... Even that stuff is a little cute. <laughs> Do you know Pat? Do I know my son Pat? Oh, I'm not just so proud of him. It's his birthday today, did you know? Well, he's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast and those free tiny soaps. I didn't get concerned he eats too many of those, however. Suds shouldn't be coming out of a snoot of a boy that age. I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the local AC YACA before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I meant to wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Heat, pray, shove. <laughs> the event is actually why I'm taking this class today. So you don't get more to say about that? Okay. Actually, since you're one of Pat's friends, maybe you could help a mom out. You see, I'm trying to put together our family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have anyone's pictures. It's so hard working for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from the early 2000s. Wait, what year is it supposed to be? <laughs> We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. Since you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some pictures of the family? Any you get and bring them back, I'll put them in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. More arbitrary collectibles. Oh, I see you already have one there. Would you like to put it in? Here, you can have mine as well. Anyone don't want anyone feeling lonely? Oh, are the badge members the pictures? Okay. Let's see how much you've learned so far. <laughs> Where were you hiding that, ma'am? Alligator New York City, located in Alligator US, Alligator North America, on planet Alligator Earth. <laughs> Click the fam to uncover the scam. Yeah, I'll play. Click and drag alligator portraits into position on the family tree. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, so this is Pat, who I assume is our... Oh, does that mean no? We're not starting with Pat? Okay. So, unrelated to anybody, it's kind of a weird family tree. I was kind of hoping Pat would be at the center and then it would be easier to figure out. I mean, I know mom and a uh, second cousin. I don't know how Joni is related. 
Uh, I don't think Pat has any children. But I do know Pat has a sibling. At least one sibling. So, uh, here's the other thing is I don't know how family trees work. <laughs> um, so, I, okay, as I understand family trees, uh, it's like descendant. Uh, I think the, the line means marriage? Tree go old bottom young top? What? Is that true? Is that true? Okay, so like, this is like the matriarch or patriarch of the whole family? I guess, okay, that makes sense. I guess that's how trees work. Um, the trunks are ancestors. Okay, so, okay, so the line I think means marriage. So we're looking for somebody. Hey, hey, yo, hey, lovable doofus biotech. All right. And so that would put you as one of these. No, nope, come back, ma. Okay, okay. Church rummage sale cashier. All right. Uh, and second cousin would mean that. Ugh, am I going to have to learn how relatives work? This is a nightmare. So, okay. This is a marriage, presumably. And so this is the parent, other parent's parent. Uh, and so their sister, but it would be probably further than that. So, uh, grandparents, great grandparent, uh, great uncle. So probably like over here. Ho, oh, hey! All right, now to immediately forget that information. I don't know where Joni goes. I don't remember getting info about where she fits here. I'll leave that until, well, I mean, I could just brute force it is the problem. No, I'm gonna leave it for later. She's a cousin? I wanna say Joni is one of the siblings? Uh... What? Joni, Joni. Yeah, I don't know. I might just... Did she already tell me? Alright, no. I feel good about... Or do I have to get all of this for the minigame to really conclude? I mean, there's no real family resemblance. Alright, I don't know. I'm gonna give up. I feel good about what I've done so far. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Joni's a ghost. Oh, and Joni's they, them. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you, Pliable Head. Uh, Alright, uh, where are we at? <laughs> time ways. 11, eh? Oh, boy. And I need to go back at 4... They do share similar things, that's true. You ever eat at John Johnny's here? The food's all right, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. I picked that thing up and BAM! Chowder Pants the rest of the day. Chowder Pants is my nickname at work, but from an unrelated chowder-centered incident. Listen, can we stop talking about it? I'm still feeling pretty sensitive about the whole thing. Uh, I could go back to the arcade. Oh, no, I'm supposed to explore a little. Uh, but I want to go to the arcade. I want to play more games. Oh, hey. Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret bobbles to look at, increasingly sh interesting shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. The world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. Yeah, all right, I will. Uh, 
I don't see nothing clickable around here. Hey, never mind. Uh, I really want to talk to this person behind the curtain. My mom is always on my case, like I already go outside and talk to other alligators, or already stop hiding behind various types of curtains in and outside our home. That was it. Like I'm supposed to not hide behind various types of curtains in and outside our home? What do you think I am, Mom? God? Oh, jeez. Uh... Nobody here but us curtains. <laughs> okay, great. Uh... I've got a suit for loot. I got my eyes on some prizes. Back to turn another tricky oldie. Come on, one last score. Yes. Yes. No, I should focus. Although she might have information. No, no, no. I should. I want to play more games. I want to talk to these lounge lizards. <sighs> Why do they always gotta come here? This place is a dump. You don't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in the dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry in my dream journal last week. If a grown man can't come to a children's arcade to unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling squares, what kind of an alligator country are we living in? Take the shot, Rocco! Hold your horses, bunny. Hold your alligator horses. I'm lining up my stick. You gotta be delicate about these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night waiting for you to take the shot, Raku. How, how, how come you never hold me like that, bun? <laughs> uh, these two are gonna make it. Heck! Hey, cool it on that kind of talk, Raku. There's a kid in here. Dang, you're right. Hey, what did I just say? Just lining up my shot. There's two rules if you want to rack up a game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. That reference to the, was it, the Gwendolyn Brooks, Brooks poem? We real cool, we skip school. What is that? We real cool, we skip school, we... Play pool, we jazz June. I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember it. It's such a good poem, though. There's just two rules if you wanna rack up. Okay. And don't bring up how I never learned to count. That's fair. Ah, that's the third game I lost in a row. You're too good at this, Mon. I know. Come on, what's your secret? Muscle, hustle, and rustle. Rustle? A holistic dentist, after he screams in my mouth with soft jazz, we hit up the pool hall downtown. Just lining up my shot. Alright. Can I play? Ah. Uh. Hey! Alright. Uh. Alright. Let's hit it. All right, let's take the trolley. Where'd my tissues go? Oof. Uh, booming bug economy. Free hot dogs on Fridays. See the Alligator New York Alligator Opera presenting Alligator Pagliacci. <laughs> Mayor Wibblyfin, welcome to my beautiful city. Map of Alligator New York. I see downtown fun district, unsavory part of town, and Alligator Memorial Park. I guess we're in downtown. Uh, yes, HTML. -E, thank you. We real cool. We love school. We lurk late. We strike straight. We sing sin. We thin gin. We jazz June. We die soon. Classic, incredible poem. The mayor looks like if um, the penguin from the Tim Burton movie were an alligator. <laughs> Unsavory part of town has three of my faves. All right, 
unsavory it is. We gotta get back before four, though, so remember that. Oh, I don't have access to my watch here. Oh, that was it. Very adult bar. Hey, buddy, your good old guide here. I just wanted to warn you, in a city so big, there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of the things without spitting them out to a napkin politely. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. Sounds like I should click around some back alleys. Hey! All right, I see. I can go down there. I can talk to some folks. You there. Hey man, you got any change or novelty tie-dye apparel? Wow, Star Child, I can like feel your energy from over here. I'd say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now, but the truth is I've recycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. Where? Why were they in the dumpster behind the furniture store? My mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. Huh? Why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh, throw pillows. Bummer. <laughs> Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket felt it equally from Strangerland and Candy Rapplers? It's no wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. And who are you? I'm Aiden, it's totally chill to meet you, dot com, dot org. I sort of knew somebody would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant according to some subforums I visit online. Plus I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. Their potent energy course through me to my inner core, which is great since I spend a lot of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals and my inner core is super starving, man. Did you say Pat? That guy's a pretty cool guy. Kind of dressed like a preschooler, though if I'm being real, Uh My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you could say we're kind of like family. Right, this guy's, this person's little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin. Okay. You can say anything to strangers, really. No one can stop you. Hmm. Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. Do you see those suspiciously extensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Well, those little mamas are also suspiciously powerful from just three nights of holding them. Even when I had to get up to do pee, I felt, feel majestically, mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. But in my tireless questioning through the crystal concentration arts, I just don't have the power, time to shower or dust my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is a way for the man to keep us down. You should be sliding across the floor on an oil slick of your own creation like nature intended. Gross. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company like solicitors and my father, but in invited others, I'm talking about flies. Those little buzzing buzzkills keep harshing my mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to do it inner right, if you know what I mean. If you could just swap them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be happy to do you a solid in return. So will you be my spotter swatter? Yeah. Slap a fly from an icky guy. Meditation infestation. Okay, okay. Click on flies and hornets to attack them with a the fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Don't swat butterflies or Aiden. So these are what I'm looking for. All right. Classic carnival game. All right. See, Dad, I do have friends. Up. Oh. Oh. oh, that was a butterfly. It's happening! The subforms were right! I have to keep going!
This is pretty silly. Oh no. I'm starting to feel the cosmos and pick up Wi-Fi. Keep going, I'm almost there. Very satisfying slap sound. Oh. I'm getting a little free. Whoa. Hello, my star child. Through crystal channeling and staying modestly hydrated, like advised on social medias, I have been able to reach my most powerful form. Bom. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so long, so long. But a new, more powerful Aiden. A Payden, as it were. Like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral form. Hey, did you just hear an ice cream truck? Oh no, reason. It just, uh, f like the song that the truck plays, it's a real bop. No, I'm not crying. I can now tell you a bit about the event now, since I'm a being of pure energy and knowledge given form. It's also a being that's like extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is it concerns Pat for a certain reason. That's really all I can say. I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure, peaceful energy are adverse to tiny sister punches. Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not soon be forgotten, at least not for the 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? Ha 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 ha. Great. Angry little sister hands. Love it. Hey, you got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I mean in general. It's kind of dark out here and I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? If you want to get to the bar, bub, you're going to have to cough up an ID. Or anything, really. Coughing up stuff is generally an adult thing. Getting old ain't glamorous. Hey, the hands emote! It's useful! Okay, good. The other night, I coughed up something that was shaped like a state of Arizona. Alligator Arizona. I tried to show Splasher, but he wouldn't even look. Cause that's gross, Raul! Quit smoking, ya dingus! Yeah, quit smoking, stupid! It even had the Grand Canyon in it. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? Are you trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? Beat it, creep! We're not even talking about anything interesting. Move on. Definitely nothing interesting, just extremely boring things. Yeah, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here in silence. Our mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Yeah, we just care a lot about oral hygiene, so buzz off. I do like that oral hygiene has been a, a through line in this game so far. We're definitely not talking about the juicy details of Slusher here's and hilariously disastrous love life, so beat it. Yeah, hey. He's a good guy, he's just not so good at the romance thing, you see. Eric, first date at a sporting goods store. I needed sneakers, and he was running half an hour late. Because I didn't have the sneakers. Still, she had an okay time. She ate us from in front of him, so she was sure he wouldn't have her number. Oh, that's a good strat. Scram, vamos. All right, all right. What about you creeps in the car? I say, you there, vagrant. Brother, I don't think they're vagrant. They've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king? Oh, you might be right, sister. You there, hobo king, come here a moment. Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside this seedy watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister, but you know as well as I that we don't have an... Uh, we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary, so anyone at the state was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to the stranger with the briefcase, then? 
Yes, yes, as long as it's not someone that gives me a dreadful horror of being known. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister, perhaps with the pinstripe style, they've spent the last thirty or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. Uh, and their other fingers in their eyes. <laughs> and fingers yet still in their nose. <laughs> Obviously, since that perfume, since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I'm Prince Valentino, and this is my brother, Prince Valentine. He's also the heir since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene, and we know it, Prince. But, why, well, he's our second cousin. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little bit more removed from our gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side, much like your personality, sister. Oh, oh, oh Prince, you're such a cut-up. Much like how I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year. The alligator Met Gala. And fed it to the cat. What? But the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. And you know Mrs. Ha the third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. Well, now you're going to have to be more specific. I intend a lot of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. If, you, if you're speaking of last week when I walked the runway for Guild Fashion Fishery Rubber Pants for Moist Alligators, it's a real mouthful. I'll have you know I got a write-up in magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, you're talking about tonight. We have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if only you'd do us the smallest of favors. Yeah, all right. You see our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. Complications, you know, the natural way. I just realized that I'm covering up the text box here, I'm sorry. We're splitting up our shared inheritance. We could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from my dear sister's punches. Angry little sister punches. It's true, I punch super duper hard. If only we could have some help dividing up daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So will you help us, or do you have hobo king duties to attend to? Split the perks between these jerks. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. Use the checklist to assign, assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indicator bar. Dottie. Oh, Dottie. Well, let's get on with this. Dottie's not getting any uh, more alive. I'm already bored. Okay. I simply couldn't. My conscience wouldn't allow it. It clashes terribly with everything I own, and I'd be up all night worrying about it. Oh, cozy. Just the thing I like. Warm and made out of... And made through the suffering of others. This would be smashing with great-grandmother's claymore. Literally. Rather gauche, don't you think? Eyeballs were so last season, which is why I'm having mine removed next month. Father's secret society hat. I'd wonder if it, it had been lost after the SWAT raids. This really brings back memories. Remember when we walked up Tipsy Cousin Cleo? When we walled up Tipsy Cousin Cleo in the wine cellar after luring her with the promise of an even finer vintage? Oh, how we laughed. These seem rather large for my multiple Blu ray players. Yes, I have more than one. I have two eyes, don't I? These are mostly compilations of a Halloween s sound effects and screams, so yes, please give them to me. Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. Do you not like any of this stuff, my dude? A signed photo of the president. To be rather straight with you, I didn't vote for him. Oh, that gold chain. Perhaps I could use the scraps of my Ming vase de decoupage craft project. My parole officer said I had to have a hobby after all. Good, good work, team. Good work. Uh, I like both Cask of Amontigator, Hobbs the Tiger, by H. Humley, Cask of uh, <laughs> Alligatorado. Oh, that's a, that's a mouthful. Um, didn't he want the wine instead? Did he? 
A fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable. I don't. I don't know if I know how this mini game functions. Hmm. That would be more of a masterpiece if it is depicting something important, like perhaps me. This will look great placed delicately behind me for an upcoming photo on the cover of Vanity Fair fashion magazine from Mean Lady Alligators. Ah, oh, my father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. It reminds me so much of him. Card, cold hard and beneath my flippers. You just give it to one of them and if they don't like it, you give it to the other alligator, right? That's what I've been doing. It seems fine. The first urn we put daddy in melted, but luckily this one is from the funeral home's new poison proof collection. Mothers, rather into these types of things as well. You might say ironic mysticism runs in our family, like bloodlust or beautiful knees. This creature is vile. All it does is yell about sports team and say, help, help, I'm being poisoned. Uh, but that does make me wistful about dear daddy. Bernard! I spent hundreds of hours training him to eat $50 bills in front of our governess as she cried. Sweet childhood memories. Pass. I'm already the fastest guy in ANYC if you check my online dating profile reviews. <laughs> well, my several phones could use a car. I remember how Mumsy and Daddy would let us swing this around in the front yard whenever we'd get solicitors. Those were happy times. Oh, okay, I did it. All right. Aha! Oh ho! That's all of Daddy things, and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well. Why I'm in such a good mood, I almost feel feelings again. Seriously, brother, how pedestrian. I know, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes, and tell you what you want to know about the event. But we won't. Ahaha, <laughs> your reward is our smiling snoot. Now get up the car before we ring the police. Oh, 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 a puzzle piece. I'm a piece. I'm a puzzle piece. And I click, 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 and I click, click, click. I don't know. That one doesn't quite work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's a dodgy back alley. <laughs> uh, and a very adult bar. Paranoid Marv, thank you for the subscription. Uh, it is two o'clock, so let me just click around a little bit more. Only have one. Drink up a drink. Yes. Um, uh, is this Majima? <laughs> I like this child having wine. Okay. Uh, let's talk to the bartender. That's Majima. Okay, good. <laughs> I've not seen you around here before. I think I'd remember a face like that, so distinct and clearly visible. What a tall, what's a tall drink of water like you doing in a place like this? Everyone here is more uh, a middling half glass of yogurt top runoff. What? Of yogurt top runoff, if you know what I mean. Yeesh. Let me know if I can get you anything, like a drink or a semi-awkward shoulder massage. Yes, please. What can I get you? All right. You there, child. What are you drinking? I'm waiting for a blind date, so if you see anyone that looks like an XX Gandalf de Bay, XX, let me know. Linda. Linda, I love you. It's me. Date me. They're, they're tall, handsome, and a very successful lawyer, just like me. Keep me posted, wingman. You're worth it, Linda. Hell yeah, you are, Linda. Hell yeah, you are, Linda. Oh, man. Oh, no, Linda's stuck in 20 2004. <laughs> oh. You there, come out. Hey, okay. Uh, let's talk to Majima. The knife. 
Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special of the day and I ain't got the heart to eat it. Now, cause the nervous guts. Anyway, what do you want? I don't really have- I don't know what Majima sounds like, so I can't do an impression of him, I'm sorry. I don't really have time to talk right now, I'm waiting for somebody. Though maybe they're a no-show. What's your username, The Knife? People call me The Knife on account of my design containing sharp edges. And how I poked my eye out in a freak jackal in a carving accident back in fourth grade. And cause I'll cut you out of extracurriculars if I catch you in the hall without a pest. I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Petty Snoot School for Snobbery and Grifton Middle School Rose. The, nick the nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Yeah, I know, Pat, who's asking? No, you are right, right. Sorry, I'm a little socially anxious right now, and basically all of the time. I've known Pat since high school, when the seniors got paired up with a freshman buddy to help run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. Started running like a maniac down the football field with my gym pet still attached to him. That's how I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. I love being a little weird, a weird little guy. Love the weird little guy is what he said. <laughs> Look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? Who are you waiting for? Ooh, I gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantic like uh romantical like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare other gators off. How was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? She looked real cool. Ugh. Ugh. But anyway, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's just so hard to Meet people in an odd, weird way, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be re way more ready when a real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pet set you up on one of his weird and wild goose-like chases, but I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So, uh, maybe if you help me practice, I could help you out too? What do you say, you wanna go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? I do. Alligator, the alligator sating sim. Yes. Of the tiger, yes. Mac that knife. Ha ha ha. Make him blushy by getting mushy. Okay. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. Click to decide where to go, what to do, and how to end the evening. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me with this? Oh my god. The hand looks like I'm I'm stroking his snoot. <laughs> oh no! This one takes a while. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna have to stop here. And this is what we're gonna be open with on Tuesday morning. Hey, Faith. Um, holy cow. The Yowie Hand. <laughs> Welcome to the Hallow Halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. The kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. You see, <laughs> I have a meet cue tomorrow, and I don't know what to do or say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a date a friend of hers. I'm not usually the blind date type, but she says he's real dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the dojima, if you get my drift. <laughs> I wonder what she told him about me. Uh, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type, and you're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. <laughs> Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence and I need it now. Yay! I mean, <laughs> cool, thanks. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're gonna go on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> Unnatural laughter. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of adventure would you take me on? Impress me. Okay. Uh, this is incredible. This is so good. Um. Um. I don't even know what to do. 
turned out the zoo, a trip to the beach, and now I strolled the botanical gardens. What kind of adventure would you take me on? Impress me. Um, I'm curious what an alligator world zoo consists of. So I might be a fun day at the zoo. Great, let's go. Well, come on. I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. <laughs> the whole school is empty. Don't worry. Here we are at the, um, zoo. <laughs> Tell the truth, I don't love the zoo. It smells kind of weird everywhere and the food is really expensive. But if you find that kind of stuff romantic, I guess I can play along. I should have gone with the beach. It was way more romantic. I like the zoo though. Look at that elephant. Wow, a bear. Did you know that sea otters made for life? <laughs> yeah, I know it's really a stretch. You're the one who wanted to go to the percent zoo. I can't concentrate on romantic thoughts with all this noise. Plus, what if one of my students sees me here on a date? That would be pretty weird. Regardless though, I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a show and on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy, but I think a first date should be really special, you know? <laughs> What's this? You brought me a present? P -p I didn't get you anything. Well, this is a change of face. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> nice flowers, yummy candy, a cute toy. Um, hmm. old fashioned, but in a nice way would be flowers, right? Right? Yummy candy, a cute toy. Nice but old fashioned reads to me as nice flowers, right? Cause like toys and candy is not very old fashioned. And bringing somebody candy, I guess if it's like a heart box, like that kind of thing, that would make sense. Remember the guy who wanted to eat flowers? <laughs> All right, I think, I think it's gotta be flowers, yeah. Anyway, oh, they're lovely, thank you. Karen didn't warn me I was going out with such a charmer. I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to dinner? Oh, reservation? Wow, you came prepared. And dressed to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. <laughs> was that too much? I'm trying to role play, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great though. So where did you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Okay, flowers seemed like it was the right choice. Good call, good call, good call, okay. Um, somebody gave you crowders who would literally cry? I mean, I think we should bring back giving flowers. I think people should just give flowers all the time. It's nice, it's just nice. Um, somewhere fancy, somewhere cozy, somewhere cool. Where do we wanna eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. That implies somewhere f fancy to me. Um, Here's the problem is I think you could have, as a foodie, I think you could get good food everywhere. What would this? Okay, they didn't like the zoo, but they did like flowers, which makes me feel like not, I feel like fancy's gotta be the one. You guys think cool? Foodie says cool to you, okay. Okay. I feel like cozy is the wrong choice. I also feel like I don't I wouldn't want to go somewhere fancy. Although if I got a reservation, that implies fancy to me. Uh, I also I prefer cozy to fancy, but I'm trying to impress this alligator. Um, goodness, sorry, something's happening in the apartment above me, and it sounds really intense. It sounds really intense. Uh, let's go somewhere cool. I'll, I'll, I'm trusting you guys on this one. Oh my god. Some sort of wrestling match happening above me. Hey, this place is really swanky. I'm impressed. I spend all day giving advice to middle schoolers. I love my students, but they can be really cruel sometimes. The other day, one of them told me outright I wasn't going to get married because my jacket was ugly. <laughs> I was like, hey kid, you do the best you can when you have to buy clothes on an educator's salary. Look at me, I finally get out of school and I can't stop talking about the munchkins. Um, yes, we can totally change the topic to me. 
Ooh. Your scales are so shiny. Your tail is so long. You have such perfect teeth. Um, I think perfect teeth. Teeth have been such a reoccurring thing. Okay, uh, chat is giving me um, a very subtle clue about which they think I should go for. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, oral hygiene has been such a prevalent aspect of this game. I really do think it has to be teeth. Okay. You have such perfect teeth. Um, thanks. You have a nice smile, too. This is me role-playing in awkward silence. Come on. My date's gotta be more charming than that. I'm gonna pretend what you said was cute and move on. Wow, is that not? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe that wasn't the right option. Should have gone scales. You guys were right. Wait, who said scales? You were right. I'm scrolling back to vindicate you. Fur Kong, you were right. Should have been scales. Oh man. I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. Man, devastating. I mean, not a long while. It's it's just hard for me to meet with other alligators. I don't do this very often. Stop laughing. This is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say is, I'm having a really good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the spring festival with me? Love it, yes. You've lived in Alligator, New York for how long? And you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? Then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. This is so cute. Sorry I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no, no. I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks good to you? Uh, all right. It is 2.18, which is already far longer than I intended to stream. I just really wanted to play more of this specific mini game. Uh, but we're going to end it here. So uh, cliffhanger, I guess, if you want to see how the rest of this date goes. Um, right now it's going okay. <laughs> I've succeeded once out of three times. So uh, the stakes are high. Um, but uh, we'll be back. I, as I said, I'm doing a Tuesday morning stream. So like Tuesday 9 a.m. stream now, 9 a.m. Eastern time. So um, that is coming up Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday 9 a.m. Eastern time is when I'm trying to implement a new stream. So that I have like three weekly streams. So next stream will be then. If you can't catch it, you can always catch the VOD of me successfully winning over Alligator Majima. That's my goal. Well, it's really early. I might need back, back home by then. Yeah, I'm trying to mix it up. I'm trying to mix up like the time zones I'm hitting, basically. <laughs> the days and time zones. So that was what motivated. Also, I need I need the personal motivation to wake up in the morning. Um, so I'll see you all then. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Have a good Labor Day if you get it off. And have a good week and I'll see you guys later. Oh, should we raid somebody? I mean, the answer is yeah, we should definitely raid somebody. Uh, let me look at who's streaming right now. Not, not a lot of people streaming. I might just end the stream. There's basically nobody streaming right now that I want to raid. So I'll just see you guys later.